Hey everybody, Obeda Papaya back at you again with another YouTube video. Uh, so we got update version 0.16 patch notes coming in. This is the patch for uh, Thursday, so pretty big news to simplify it really quick. Xbox, welcome, Xbox S and Xbox X, I think is uh, the types you guys will be able to play in. It was also going onto open beta free to play, so everyone gets to play this game for free uh, coming up. So uh, that's going to be interesting, uh, but let's get straight into the patch notes um so here greetings introductions open beta so open beta for everybody that includes ps5 ps4 pc xbox s and s uh so march 28th thursday is when you will be able to play uh we got localization french german spanish portuguese and italian uh console players will get the same localization options soon okay so console does not get these so these are for pc players um here we go, Xbox S and X. Here you go, you guys. Get in. Got the nice little... Uh, is that skin already in the game, or is that just kind of used? Don't worry. Click that. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this is already in the game, but we'll see. I think they do show the skins later down the line. Here it is, skins. <laughs> uh, Ruby Scarab Grux. I actually saw... I was watching a YouTube video of a guy playing uh, Grux Ruby Scarab, and it was pretty cool. And This is actually a uh, pretty nice skin. I don't... What are they putting in it? Is it an epic skin? They reduce the prices later down. We'll discuss that. And then Snake Bite Murdoch, which is an uncommon skin. Kind of looks like a crunch. <laughs> That's what I thought when I first saw it. Like crunch. So new bundles. A Ruby Scarab Grux bundle. Can't get enough of that Ruby skin. You can get the bundle, which comes with uh, the banner, the tag, or the icon, um, the spray, and the skin. And does it say the price? No. Bundle prices, I think, are below. Now, Frost King Revenant is coming in, so Xbox players are able to get this if they are interested. It's a cool-looking skin. Animations are good. If the price sounds good, you know, I, I don't know if they say the price here directly. Uh, so it's the same thing, kind of, as the Ruby skin. You just get this entire big bundle. I don't know if you can buy these separately. Doesn't look like... Uh, so you can get it separately but we are getting quick start bundles so with the move to open beta and doors open xbox players who want to make it easy as possible for new players to quickly flesh out their collection of playable heroes so what they're going to do is they're going to create bundles uh so quick start support which will include three uh three support characters um you get two uh, two common skins one uncommon skin and one spray it's a little bit interesting i'm curious how that uncommon skin oh here so only only links or only um uh, phase gets the uncommon i find that a little bit weird maybe if they could have just gave you platinum and then you choose instead um what is this 80 percent off so that's 80 so it's only 600 platinum to unlock that now or is that totaled up and they just boom wipe it out at 600 i'm not too sure but hey 600 so it's like six dollars uh six or five dollars no not bad and then you got the same thing for your carry rolls um I don't know if they're not allowing the PC bundle, which comes with like 20 characters for, or they basically unlock like almost the entire roster for like 20 bucks or 10 bucks on sale. Really worth it if you're a PC player, by the way, if you can still get those. Um, got the quick start jungle. Uh, comes with, uh, let's discuss here. So we got Kira, Drongo, and TB. Uh, two of the most overpowered. Kira, very strong as well, just a little bit not utility based, just straight raw damage really strong uh rampage one of the best junglers uh fang mao skill based still a really good jungler just uh you know i'm surprised they didn't throw in oh is chimera free i guess if chimera is free otherwise i would uh, this is a little bit weird and they also got crunch um i'm a little interested in that i'm surprised no chimera good jungler pretty good jungler also a good jungler just a lot more skill orientated you know kind of having knowledge of the game I feel like Rampage doesn't necessarily need that too much. Um, so, well, it's not, not terrible. A uh, quick start, mid lane bundle. You got the Morgish with the click-ons. A little bit too oppressive, though, for a beginner. So, But it is a quick start, I guess, not beginner start. Uh, Howitzer, pretty far back. Faye, also kind of risky. None of the meta characters, I'd say. You know, uh, good characters, just not necessarily the meta. I was surprised not to see Gideon, unless Gideon comes in free. I, I forgot how it works um but they're all for 600 got the offlane bundle here you got the meta character grux is really strong in pub stomp 
Uh, Shinbi can be strong, just doesn't provide the CC. Not too much utility, just a lot of raw damage. Um, but over 600, not, not too not too shabby overall. I mean, it's like 5 bucks, so I wouldn't have really an issue. Skin price reduction. So this is where we got the price of the skins coming down. So before, we'd have like three different types of common skins. Some priced at 500, 600, and 800. Now they're actually making all commons 500, all uncommons 800. Don't quote me 100% on this, but I think every 100 is about 5 bucks. So that's the one thing. This is a 500. With this being 600, I don't remember if this gives you bonuses or not. Like, I don't know if buying $5 gives you 600 with a $100 bonus or you need to get a $10 pack in order to get this. That sounds a little scummy, but I mean, I guess they need their money some way to kind of bait players into it. Uh, 500, 800, 1200, epic, legendary. With some legendary skins, may receive bespoke prices in the future. Bespoke prices in the future if they release, including more content than traditional legendary skins. Um, these are a list of the common skins where they're showing the platinum reduction. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, same with all these. We're not necessarily. I'll go over in terms if you want to pause on them, but I'll send uh, the link will be in the description. Skin downtime on Wednesday, the 27th, the days before the update. All the above skins will be changing price and be removed from the store while we process refunds. I will return on the update. Uh, additional skin refunds. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not. Platinum bundle planned changes. So they are going to change their platinum bundles. So that's going to be a little interesting. This is going to be like the important part too. What are they going to do with that? So we'll see. Um, visual improvements. So with Pred uh, version 0.16, we did get visual improvements. Uh, I recommend taking a look at the video itself. It To simplify it, to me, it looks like they just kind of turned it into, instead of one o'clock predecessor, they made it into, uh, they made it into uh, like five o'clock, four o'clock predecessor, maybe six o'clock, depending on your time zone, uh, you know, but it just looks a little bit darker. It looks like there's more reshade. I play on all low settings. I don't know if I'm going to see too much of a difference. Um, I'm not saying it's wasted potential or anything like that. I hope it looks good, but you know, I don't know. I'm not very excited for this, but I know some people are, so we'll see. Hopefully it looks better in game. Gameplay balance changes. So this is actually really cool. Death timers. Death timers were often too fast after players reached level five plus resulting in objectives being too difficult to convert even after a successful kill and gank. So from level five onwards resulting in an increase of about one to three seconds as match progresses enough time to better capitalize on an opponent's death. That's good. That's worth it. I think it was a little bit too fast. People came back really quick. I still think people come back too quick just backing. I think they should remove jump pads early and bring them in after 10 minutes, maybe after eight minutes when the uh, when the when tower armor drops off i think that would be pretty cool explosive flowers blue jungle lane side uh explosive flower has position adjusted to make jumping up into lane easier i think it's where um it's that spot right next to blue like the back side not if you're looking at blue and he's looking at you it's where blue is looking at to the right side a bit that's nice because it was actually hard to get up on that ledge so, and I would like, I, I wanted to change on it personally. So I'm glad that hopefully it is going to be a lot easier, a lot better, especially when you're like running in the moment, because you have to go through the pillar of blue and climb up the stairs. It was a pain in the butt. So I, I'm curious to see how it's going to be. So mini prime had a bug where it was applying orbs, primage damage reduction buff to anyone it was hitting, making it significantly more difficult to solo than it should be, which I was wondering why I swear it was easier before. So this is going to be resolved, which is interesting um yeah i was curious why i was like damn dude it feels like it's taking so much longer with my kai when i was playing kai i was like what the hell but no that's good um hero balance changes i can't see this image oh okay i guess it's just argus so argus ability to output high damage and crowd control especially in the early stage of the game has led to plenty of success for the newcomer even in the support role to reduce his overall efficacy he is being met with a range of nerfs targeting the uptime and efficacy of his utility and cc controls uh tools um so his physical power i'm not going to really read too much of this stuff i'm just i want to go through my opinions overall on like the actual note maybe like I, when i read this i sometimes cringe though what the devs say because i'm like i do not agree with that you know this one i kind of agree with but sometimes i'm like what the heck are you talking about devs so maybe i will read them um physical power decreased from 54 to 50 that's actually pretty fair because this poke damage by itself after using abilities like level one after getting a stun and throwing in one or two basics they were pretty heavy so i think this is a nice change 
Dread Nova is primary, that's his stun. Damage was decreased, 85 to 80, and it, just 5 damage decrease. Not too much. Magical power scale, it's basically this, <laughs> I would say. But I guess if you combine both of them, that's like a 10. Uh, 9 damage reduction. Magical, magical power scaling is decreased from 60 to 50. Um, okay. That's, you know, that kind of hurts both support and mid lane. Stun duration decreased from 1.25 to 1. Okay, so it's, it used to be 1.25, now it's straight 1. This is nice because, I mean, you know, the stun is still there. It's still very easy to hit, which I dislike. They didn't change anything about the speed, how it looks or anything, which I'm disappointed on. I don't like that it's lobbed and it's AoE. Um, so, it, to me, this is not something special. Like, I think this is pretty... Eh. It's nothing crazy. Um... But it's something, and I think it'll be noticeable in the mid lane. As a support, I don't think this is going to be that noticeable Be as a support. Um, support, you still get to throw damage down. You have another damage dealer with you. Not that big for support. It does help in, for a mid laner. As in, if I'm a mid laner going against Argus, this can be pretty nice. Um, either crystal damage decreased from 20 to 15. So about 5 per. Mana cost is increased. They didn't have any mana change here, which is pretty crazy. It's like 60 mana cost. Uh, mana cost was increased. Okay. Slow decrease from 40 to 35. It's very minimal, 15%. Cooldown increase from 14 to 15. A little bit of an increase is actually... It, it's nice. But still, he's pretty low mana still. Uh, uh, particle Shredder alternate. So there's an RMB. Damage is increased. That's it. Straight damage increase. Um... I don't know how this is supposed to help in the support role. Like how to nerf support. This is still extremely oppressive in high elo games. And I still think that someone who knows how to play Argus as a support is going to do really well. This doesn't seem this impactful. I am disappointed. Um, Countess. So as the balance ecosystem is shifted around her, Countess is seeing more and more success in the jungle role. Where she's often able to farm up without contention. That's a little interesting to me. In a way, yeah, she does get to farm up pretty easily. But I still think she's not the best jungler when it comes to clearing uh, neutral objectives. Uh, easily punishable by the Chimera, by the Rampage. Those guys just get to chase and run her down when, when they get caught. And she gets got caught and invade. She has to. She can't jump over an objective, right? Like those guys. Um, so she's getting some changes. Health is increased. Health growth is decreased though. Uh, okay, that's fine. Early game, it helps out a lot, which I like. Uh, event tied her secondary that's her aoe magical power scaling was decreased i was a little sad by this i don't know why this doesn't make any sense in my opinion on why they nerfed it blade siphon that's her rmb uh damage decreased from 80 so it's only after right so it's five damage only here so this instead goes down 30 and this goes down 35 so it's not necessarily too crazy here it goes down 20 it kind of changes up all right, here and this is down 20 all right healing change you get a lot you get more healing uh as you scale up which is kind of nice might give you a reason rmb first as a as a jungler even might give you a reason rmb first um but you are getting a reduction in the damage so that's a uh, i don't know i don't i don't personally like that as a countess player um i think she's still very easily punishable so at least you didn't get a ability haste nerf um drongo drongo possessed a bug where his gag grenade would prevent him from using his basic attack so this is a little bit weird i never had it with, i had it with my basic attack once but usually what happens is when you throw the gag grenade during that entire time that the gag grenade is in the air you cannot use any of your abilities which really sucks that delays your e at least for me i like to jump i like to use my e during it to load up and whatnot and it turns out i didn't even load up my e so i would like that to be changed which uh, RG said that he would fix it in uh, version 17, 0.17. So I'm disappointed that they couldn't fix that in here. I don't know why it even has issues because nothing was changed last patch. So that was really weird to me. Uh, so Gideon. Gideon's black hole is having a large portion of its damage shifted away from base damage and into scaling. This is to ensure Gideon sticks to building damage if he wishes to be a damage threat in fight. It means more durable build paths won't find as much success should be forego to too much magical power. Black hole ultimate damage is decreased, 405 to 360, and then overall it's decreased pretty heavily here. But you get a really nice scaling increase. You get like 50% almost. 
Um, so it's kind of funny that they go 261. Why do they have 261? Um, this is a uh, more than, this is what 55 percent ish, something like that. Um, less than 655 ish, 54 ish, something around there. Some quick maths. Um, the scaling is not going to be too bad on him. It'll just hurt him more if he has to build true silver. So I'm curious to see how it's going to feel in game. Granted, though, his ult does so much damage. So nonetheless, it's going to do damage. Graystone. This is actually something I'm excited for, kind of, until I read it. Uh, the stone is always receiving a quick shift from base damage scaling uh, to make away ability. Better rewarding him for investing it into physical power over tank or ops. Such as Fire Blossom. You'll never get rid of Fire Blossom devs unless you change its ability to have two passives. Make way is his primary. Um, that's his AoE attack. Damage is decreased 75. It's only decreased as you get into late game, I think. So it's not necessarily too much of a, you know, not late game after you touch like level 7, 8 ish. Um, damage decreased from 75, 75. So you lose a little bit of 5, and then you lose 10 here, and then you lose 15 here. It's not, not detrimental. Bonus physical power scaling is increased. So it's it's in theory it sounds like kind of a buff you want to take him damage and I mean like you go basilisk on him maybe citadel if you really want to like if you want damage but you build tanky on him this guy is still a behemoth I don't see any change I'm disappointed in this in this buff nerf kind of sounds like a buff to be honest with you um, because now it allows him to be more damage based instead of tank based but he still can be extremely tanky so like he's oh, he's too tanky whatever. Um, Iggy and Scorch, so despite his penchant for Pyromania, Iggy's ultimate doesn't quite hit the mark. It does not hit the mark. I agree with that. But, and it was the damage struggles, which I disagree with. I don't think it was the damage, per se. Um, basically, flame damage, magical power scaling is increased. So, 30% scaling, it's not necessarily bad. It's like, what, uh, 20%, 15, 20% buff? Um, you know, it's not necessarily like in terms of the, the overall, not this going up that much, the overall uh, buff. Um, it's just, it, it's too small. I feel like it's just such a switch of weak ability compared to what his kit is designed to do. Like his kit is very zone based and then you're giving him something that it can get canceled really easily and it takes time to really output damage on it. I don't know. It feels very useless and I don't think this does anything to this kit. Description now accurately reflects the correct damage output. So it was the bug was oh, okay. There's a bug on the description. Chimera. This is uh let's see if he gets a change. Chimera's capacity to apply pressure in early games uh through aggressively invading and 2v2 scraps. Um which was due to his regen. Yes, he had crazy regen. Uh to help increase the risk, he's gonna get less armor. So he just gets 33 to 30. Remember, the more armor you have, the less impact it does, so this is a drastic change. I don't necessarily know the numbers, but just know that these type of changes do tend to be drastic. I do find it a little interesting, though, that's only physical armor, and I don't understand why they don't, I don't know, also add, like, the, the magic damage as well. Because he's so strong as uh, casters, so I'm all disappointed at that, personally. And I don't think it's going to change necessarily too much, though. He's still super oppressive, very minor nerf. This is probably going to help in that, you know, that... 5-10% of fights, um, in my opinion. Kuang. Kuang's previous round of adjustments were successful in providing more durability. Yes, much more durability in the late game. While reducing his early efficacy. Not true. He was still... There was no point for that buff or change you did to... In doing so, however, Kuang's damage output when opting for more durable buffs has become a more visible issue. Indeed. Still being able to output significant burst even when building full tank. Yep, you're fault by your decision making and your your changes no or i should say no changes to items to remedy this several of his abilities were perceived which is lame i think it, right now it might be an item issue more than his abilities um but here general health decrease from 630 to 620 okay small nerf to allow for you know early game punishment his passive which is just true damage per hit damage de after using an ability Damage decreased from 15 to 16. Damage decreased. Percent? Just the 4 per level. So it's going to put him at 16, but now he's going to get 4 per level instead of 5. Okay, doesn't sound that crazy. Magical power scaling is increased, so it's going to force him to build more magic damage. Surge of the Heavens secondary damage is decreased. This is on his... Um, 
You have your Q. This is his dive. In the world, true damage decreased from 80 at 125. Okay, true damage is decreased late game. Not very much early, but it's more impactful early. Uh, all right. Shield health scaling was decreased. That's worthy. That that needs to be done. That's only like a uh, 10 ish, 15% change. Not too crazy. I mean, sounds like a bigger number, but uh, like after seeing freaking crazy full tank a 1v2 as easy as he did when he wasn't even fed was insane to me. So, and his output damage still seems like it's not really changing too much. Uh, Fury of the Heavens secondary ultimate damage changed. Wait a second. This is bugged. I was wondering what the hell this is. This isn't secretaries. This is this is his ultimate. Ultimate damage change from 200 to 220, 420. So he's getting a little nerf there. This is his passive. This is weird because isn't his passive basic attacks? Or is this on top of that passive and it's the gap close? I'm a little confused by this. They're not crazy number changes. So I mean, this is the RMB. This is the alternate ability. This applies true damage to RMB. I didn't know it did that. I thought it was only the basics on the passive. This is confusing. <laughs> well, it doesn't I wouldn't say Kuang is demolished by any means. Maybe for low low level play, he might get hurt more. Oh. Belica, Lieutenant Belica's pressure can be difficult. We're finally hoping we see a Belica change. Uh to match you the high uptime on Void Bomb. Void Bomb only had a six second CD. Um Providing her with strong shoving capabilities, likewise often she could overly punish any hero investing in mana, 100%, due to her ultimate all while acting a strong scaling threat through a match. This combination of strength leaves her with a few weaknesses to help bring her further into the line. She's receiving a drop in early game efficacy and her ability to bully lane lessen due to the increase of Void Bomb's cooldown as well as Void Drone's mana drain, uh, possessing less strength at rank 1. Likewise, Neural Disruptor. Too much words. Um... Secondary ability is just a mana drone, a uh, slight reduction. It's a four, uh, twenty-five percent change, so it's not, not, not. It's pretty nice. Early, uh, void bomb the RMB. They're increasing the cooldown by one second. Okay, mm. it'll hurt as a support, kind of, but then not really. I was, I don't know, kind of weird. Ultimate damage increased from 170 to one, so just the base damage was increased. Magic power scaling was increased drastically, but it is true kind of that now you have to build magic power to scale it better. But this doesn't really, this is kind of like a weird buff. Uh, missing mana damage is decreased though. This is where you get your nerf. This is a, you get a 25% nerf here. Um, this is where you get the overall nerf, but it's still pretty monstrous. This character's kit is still very, very, very strong, and I don't think I'm gonna we're gonna see it change much. Morgish. So Morgish has been pretty weak recently due to the Mega Cosm change. We're getting a magical power scaling increase on our passive, so more dot damage uh, after using an ability, and the monster damage cap is increased to four uh, from 40 to 60. A uh, swarm, which is her E ability. Damage increased from 80 to 100, and then it just scales back up to the high. So it helps early game. Healing changed from 8 to 10. This is a per minion when you hit them. This is actually a really big deal, actually. That's a nice buff to Morgish to allow her to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, healing magic power scaling also is increased. That's pretty drastic. And hero healing multipliers decreased. That's kind of fine. Like 6x to 4x. It's going to hurt her when it comes to team fights. Um, but it's still... It's still pretty strong, and you know you get it from the the magic power scaling. So you like you win, you lose some. Also not as drastic, but it'll help her a lot early game, which which is where I think she needs it a lot. And then you know she won't. This won't really scale her too hard into late game, but it's still very oppressive. It's very small number changes, but that's dots. Rampage, rampage over uptime on his ultimate. What the hell? Let's go back. Ah, my eyes. Rampage overall uptime on his ultimate is too oppressive. There's a little bit more to Rampage than just his ultimate that's strong, but we'll go with it. Uh, as such, we are pulling back on his changes to ensure Rampage is a better uh, pick his moments to leap into the Fae, at least to find himself in No Man's Land. So they're reducing the duration of his ultimate, which is very nice, actually. Um, well, it's more for late game, not, not too much for early. Um, but 
it is nice. I, I think this two second change is actually pretty drastic. The amount of times where I'm like, come on, Rampage, get out of your ultimate. So this will this will be a nice change. Um, although I think it might be still too long. Um, but they are looking, yeah, they're buffing the max HP, which into late game, which is. You know, when you scale up with bonus percent max HP, it's a little bit, it still is impressive. Uh, and if you get like uh, Sarath, you'll get bonus HP. So it's, it's like, it's tough. I don't know. I don't think it was necessary. He's still up with so much damage. That's kind of where I have an issue at Rampage. His, his insane burst damage that he does early game on top of a rock that's fairly easy to hit. So Richter. So Richter got some adjustments. Let's take a look here. Physical armor was decreased by one. Health decreased 590 to 580. And then they lowered the silence, finally, they did something to the silence, from 1.25 to 1 second. It helps, but doesn't have too much, you know, it's not It's not as uh, much as I personally would have liked to see. His kit still sounds pretty overloaded. It's nice that he's getting squishier, but I don't know. That one hook still applies so much pressure. So, so we'll see. The phase, so phase getting a range increase on her E by five percent. I don't know if that's even going to be noticeable. <laughs> I find this a little bit weird. I don't think this is going to be that noticeable, and her kit still gets punished by cleanses. So I mean, this is kind of nothing to me. Twin blast. We're getting the twin blast nerve. This this will help on the penetration uh, damage. This is Q. Uh, when you go to pen build, he basically has like a four second cooldown on it, and it does a ton of damage, and it sh shreds squishies. So damage change from forty to forty five, and the physical power scaling is increased, which promotes you to build power scaling instead of pen. Not too much in terms of looking at the numbers. I don't know how it's gonna be in game though um his on hit is gonna look a lot nicer though so his on hit build like this is gonna support his on hit build more which will shred tanks so that's it zara zara's tennessee so zara's is just he used to be a big lane punisher i guess anyone he's in lane with he just pokes with a spear and it does and none of his abilities attract aggro so he gets free stacks gets a little bit of aggro it's a basics walks away heals it back up so damage has changed. They're nerfing his early game damage a bit and then buffing him into, into late game. Then they're also, um, the cooldown has changed where it's going to be more usable early game, but not into late game, which is actually really nice because his ult is basically always up late game. And I think it should need a little bit more punishment. And balance changes. So Rip Walkers, now Rip Snatcher no longer possesses 100% magical power scaling. Did it? Did it actually do damage? I don't know anything about this. It kind of sucks they don't show the stats before after stats but fire blossoms getting an armor reduction by five not too not too impressive but it does help early game that armor is drastic so it'll be something it'll be noticeable i think but it doesn't help with the damage output and why everyone builds it so eh, not a fan of that time warp hey there i actually did not read past this part which isn't it's just one other item Cost decreased. Very nice. Magical power decreased. Aw, a little disappointed. Recipe change from potent staff to scepter. So this will be a lot easier to build then. So that's where the 200 is coming out. Um, basically, it seems like they're making this for supports. Yeah, it is. It's, it's being. It's turning into a support item, which kind of sucks. <laughs> easier build for support items. Then we're getting a lot of bug fixes. I'm not going to read out the bug fixes. Um. I'll leave the link if you are interested. I just wanted to kind of share my opinion on things above. Um, and just my overall conclusion now. I mean, this patch is really nice that we get it released to consoles. But I still think this game is really in its infancy. And I don't think it should be released to consoles. I know it's in a beta, but it's in an open beta. It worries me because we don't have a good game mode. I want the 3v3 leaks. Give me 3v3 announcement. Give me 3v3 news. I want to see a casual game mode to let people test out and play new characters. There isn't anything like that. I'm watching these people complain on Reddit and Discord and I'm just having terrible matches. I want people to play their character they want to choose in a separate game mode. I want people to play and enjoy the game. And I feel like 5v5 doesn't do that. 5v5 in a MOBA will always naturally be competitive. The goal is to win. You know, I want a 3v3 mode before this came out. So that way you have, you know, 
a, a, a way to play the characters that you want to play. A 5v5, a ram. I don't know. I wanted something like that. So I'm disappointed to not get any information in that. I'm not a skin buyer, so this isn't really a big deal for me. I'm not seeing the changes I want to see in my care in the characters change. It just looked like number changes instead of kit changes, and I think there needs to be more changes to the kits. So I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed, but I'm hoping that we have really solid player retention. I just feel like this isn't well, you know. Priorities aren't going where I would have thought they should be going, but it's not my game. I don't own it, you know, so hopefully they know what they're doing because, man, if, if you had to share my opinion on be like, what do you think about the things that they're doing? I'd go, these are extremely questionable decisions and I'm not necessarily happy about them. If I was the CEO or if I was an investor in the company that I would, you know, if I was given no information that I'd be like, I don't know what you guys are doing. I want my money back. Take me out. Because I don't know. That's just me. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys like the video. What you guys think about the patch. If you think that I'm wrong. Think that I'm right. I'm curious to hear everyone else's opinions. Uh, if whatever has gotten this far. But yeah, on that note. Take it easy. Have a good one. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.